East Portland woman says she is the victim of a racially motivated attack by people who live right in her neighborhood. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas spoke with her about what happened. No takers Man. on this one? Damn, Bill, Man. you wouldn't even... What to say, Bill? You, you yeah. better see what it's yeah, that, she's that, straight. That uh, she, a <laughs> she a little cockeyed. She a little cockeyed. would be afterwards, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> A Northeast Portland woman says she is the victim of a racially motivated attack by people who live right in her neighborhood. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas spoke with her about what happened. Plus, we have new details from Portland police about this case. Shantae Barber says two days ago she was waiting here on Northeast Killingsworth and 49th Avenue for her daughter to get off the school bus when all of a sudden a group of people came out of this yellow house and confronted her, asking her why she was there, using racial slurs and brutally beat I don't blame those people, man. Not the hell are you doing her. there, son word? Not for beating her, but for like, yo, you just see some sun woman stand on your block and you live in a relatively safe neighborhood. You just go over there and ask her, hey, um, are you lost? You need directions? What's going on? Because like she gonna get an attitude real quick. But here's the thing though. Sometimes you just gotta, your gliders gonna have to get to a point, man, where they're gonna have to, like, because think about it, man. This is not a wealthy neighbor. Look at the unmanicured grass. Look at the, the, the of that house. The, and they don't want you around. You, they've got fucking cellophane on the window. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ke Killingsworth, that street in Portland is historically pretty run down. It's been a, uh, a, uh, a sun community at least part of the street has been a, a a heavy sun community i don't know who it might have been but i mean the thing is like these claims on the part of sun people are so heavily incentivized to just lie about i just have to doubt until i see some proof okay. that any such Let's thing see. occurs killingsworth and 49th avenue for her daughter to get off the school bus when all of a sudden a group of people came out of this yellow house and confronted her asking her why she was there using racial slurs and brutally beat her Two days later, she's still searching for answers. A typical afternoon waiting for the school bus, taking a terrifying turn. Shantae Barber says she couldn't believe what happened to her as she was waiting for her daughter. She says it began when multiple people approached her in a car and on foot at Northeast Killingsworth and 49th Avenue, calling her racial slurs and throwing cups of coffee and rocks at her car. Shante says this led to her following the assailants and getting out of her car to confront them. And that's when I stopped and asked him, what's the problem? Okay, so she confronted them. Okay, so it's making more sense now. Kingsworth and 49th Avenue calling her racial slurs and throwing cups of coffee and rocks at her car. Shante says this led to her following the assailants. And I'm not saying that. She followed them. Are yeah. they claiming that the assailants are white? Is that what's going on or? No, yeah, they didn't say that at all. Yeah. If they don't if they don't mention it, if they don't say anything about suspects or anything like that, yeah. you're supposed to assume you're supposed to assume that they're white. Yeah, no, right. They, say, but... they don't say no, if, if it's a if it's a black person involved, they don't say anything about the suspects, they're one thousand percent not white. Are. Shante says this led to her following the assailants and getting out of her car to confront them. And that's when I stopped and asked him, what's the problem? Why are you throwing stuff at my car? What's the deal? But this exchange only made things worse. One of the kids swung at me. So they were kids. The kids. So definitely what gladder teens do not go around attacking sheep. Also, teams, nobody right? takes a yeah, brutal beating like a, a Especially in Portland. Yeah, I mean, if she got brutally beat, she looks damn good to be brutally yeah, beat. Smash, man. Uh, like I mean, that glider woman just previously. Yeah, she looks like curve, she's brutally eating. On the curve of brutally beaten, damn. I give her a smash, man. Because if she looked like that after brutally beaten, <laughs> she, she, she fired and shit. That, or the normal but yeah, once that swelling goes down. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, she's not, she's not fat, <laughs> man. She's just swollen up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Salute to her, man. Salute to old goddamn um, Lizzo here, man. Salute to you. <laughs> and we were like tussling, and I just heard my windows getting busted out, my front windshield window. 
And then at that point, I was being mauled by seven people. Shantae showed us these disturbing photos of her injuries in her car's windshield. She said the group of people ranging from children to adults were hitting her with and they pull her weave out, pummeling her with their fists. She also told us she suffered a concussion. She's had her windshield repaired, but some damage could still be seen on her car when we spoke. So this right here is where they um, kicked and dented my car in. Um, and then they shattered my window on the passenger side. She also tells us she's frustrated that despite the evidence of her being attacked, no one to her knowledge has been charged. And they told me that this is a 50-50 situation. It's their word against mine. <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? Seven people and I'm one person. Facts. You physically see my car window shattered out. I I'm lost. Shantae says as of right now, she's gotten no other information about what happened from authorities, but she hopes by speaking out, she'll get the answers she's searching for. In she Northeast voted Port, for this. Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon. Yeah, I feel like if they were gladder, she definitely would have said that shit for sure. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. Oh, oh, she yeah. would have called yeah. them yeah. out in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> Their faces would be everywhere. It's bullshit. Crump. Seven of Crump. them. It's Port. She got jumped by some niggas. Some little niggas. It's Portland, yeah, or something, some something, some non non glider something. There's like ten or a options. A gang of Mexicans. A gang of Umbria. Yeah, I yeah, mean, anything. That's the. But only I mean, thing it's especially like it's Portland. Like if you're white in Portland, you're definitely not on that side of things. Yeah, you're right. You're woke as fuck. Yeah, thousand percent. 